Hello guys, I see a lot of questions about how to get Cosmos uh, Color Manager to work on Photoshop. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. I know the quality is not going to be the best. This is on a cell phone. So uh, you go to the Cosmos website, you download the driver for or the Color Manager. It's going to have a long name. I saved this top. Uh, if you if you run it, it's not going to show an install or nothing. You right if you right click it, run as open or open run as the same thing. It didn't pop up with no notifications or anything that it it uh, went through. So I recommend just you know right click open run or let me make sure. Oh, it's uh, right click install profile. Right click install profile. It won't do nothing. You won't get no notification or anything. After that's done, you open Photoshop. You want to make a new project. And then for me, uh, default is all this options, whatever. I couldn't find it regular, regularly. Uh, I can't say that. <laughs> On here, it wasn't an option for me until I did something. But that's how it's set up. It recognizes it now. I don't know why. But on the top, they have different tabs up here. And the only way I found it, the first time, I had to go to the photo section on the top photo tab. And then it was in here. Uh, you make sure it's RGB color because there's different options. So you want RGB. And then you click on the color profile at the, near the bottom. And then it's going to show the Cosmos Ink sub Sublimation for Epson. And that's where it was. Man, uh, when you do uh, sublimation printing, I really recommend transparent background. Because if you do white, sometimes it can show up as gray, and then that gray would transfer the, the color to your white t-shirt, and then you have a gray spot. So I always do transparent. And then the resolution, you always want 300 or better uh, starting out, because it does affect the scaling of some in images to make it look better or whatever not. And then, you know, this is where you, for me, I like to work my workspace to the mash of paper I'm printing on. Usually I print on 13 by 19, so, you know, 13 by 19, and then, you know, the organization, do you want long paper or wide paper? Uh, usually I print stuff with text wide, so I could, you know, it's easier to size up and whatever. And then after you got all this, make sure Epson, I, Epson, I mean, I can't speak, make sure Cosmos is selected if you have the Cosmos Ink sub, Ink. And then, uh... If you have it saved and you like how you you know you're gonna keep on using this template, you always name it whatever, and then hit save and hit save again, and then at the top you go to your save, and then it should be here. Like see, I usually work uh, 13 by 19 and 11 by 17. So after that, you create your workspace, and then you know Photoshop's gonna give you a, measure, a marker ruler up here, and that's your workspace after you set it up correctly. You can always zoom in, zoom out, whatever. And say you want to print, you go to print. You know, Control P or Open P, whatever. Once again, you want to make sure it says Cosmos Ink Sub Ink for the print profile. And there's only like really two options. Uh, I usually just leave it on Photoshop Manager Scholars. Uh, normal painting or hard proof normal. And then uh, see, I changed it once I did it. So you gotta make sure. Photoshop manages colors. That's the only way it changes. And then it's just, you know, saying this ain't the default color uh, controller. Hit OK, whatever. Then you want to make sure you hit print settings. Have it load. It's going to pull up the second option. Once again, make sure you, your paper meshes the paper you're working on. And then the quality you want high. Because if you do draft or standard, you probably might end up with lines in the paper. And then the... I usually print on either the bright white or plain. So those are the two options I recommend. Then you want to make sure you have more options. Like if you have text on sublimation printing, you want your text backwards. So when you press it on an item, it reads correctly. And that's where you mirror the image. Then you want high speed off because the faster you tell your printer to print, it might show up, show up with lines. And then uh, one other option, well, one other mandatory thing, default is automatic. You want custom. And then you want to hit advanced. It's going to pull up this color correction. Since we're using the ink from Cosmos and the color profile from Cosmos, 
you want to hit no color adjustment. Because if you have some one of these uh, selected on top of this, they're going to miscommunicate and throw your color, colors off. They won't be as vibrant or the correct shade. So, make sure it says no color adjustment. And then you hit OK. OK. And then boom, hit print. But I got nothing, so I ain't going to print. And then some examples of what it's supposed to show, what it's supposed to look like. I'll show you some. Let me pull some out real fast. Not, not really set up here for this. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mainly uh, make towels, or at least I try to at least. Subprints, so hollow. Uh, find me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, Gmail, subprints at gmail.com. Uh, I don't know how many YouTube videos I'm going to make, but this is majority of how you get the colors to pop. I have some more I can show you in a second. Let me walk over there. Excuse the mess. You know how, as I, as I was saying, after, you know, the color profile, this is just examples of how it should look like. Excuse your glare. I got the sewing fan above the bed. Just showing you examples of how it can look like if you do it correctly. Uh, all these images was from Google, so use at your own risk <laughs> if you want to say that. Oh, same. Just, you know, that's how these color profiles should work, at least. Uh, like I said, mainly I do uh, towels, so I don't have any t-shirts I can show you with the sub paper and print. Uh, any questions, comments, leave them here, and I'll try to answer them. Bye.